use your God power to get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. What does this example show and what does it mean? What this video example demonstrates for us is that our sensations are felt where we think they are supposed to be felt and not where they are actually happening. Isn't it interesting that you can be over here and feel someone touching you but because of a trick of your visual location system you think that you are really somewhere else and being touched over there? Wouldn't you think that if you were being touched on your back right now, right here, that you could tell no matter what you were looking at? If the visual projection system were suddenly turned off, or if it suddenly showed the curtains in front of her instead of her back, she would then feel the touching in the real place on her back, where she is actually standing. We are projecting our physical body and the sensations that go with it in the location where we think we are. However, if we get confused and think we are somewhere that we are not, our sensations go to the new location and it makes for a weird sensation. We are here, but we feel someone touching us over there. This is similar to the phantom limb syndrome, where we have a feeling in a place where there is nothing there to go with the feeling. This video example shows and proves that your touch sensations are a separate function of your energy body form and that they are brought together to seem realistic and believable. Okay, let's look at this illustration here. In the first picture, it says it's a perfect match. The actual location and the feeling location, they are both at the same location. Here you can see the red arrow, it says actual touching location. That's where she's actually touching her. The body is the body seems there and it's being felt there. So with the visual system with no visual trickery, just standing there, I mean with your eyes closed, someone touches you on your back. Where you think you're being touched is where you feel it. I mean that's that's right where your body is. Now we're going to go with visual trickery, which is the other picture. They don't match. The actual location and the feeling location, they are at different locations. Here in the red, the actual touching location is still in the same place. But because of the visual trickery, she thinks her body is way forward from where she actually is. Body location seems over here, tricked. The feeling is felt over where she thinks her body is. Now that's got to be a weird sensation to be feeling something over there. I mean, I mean, I can't even imagine that because how can you feel something happening at a place that's six feet away from you? That is really weird. Six feet ahead of her, she's feeling it because she has visual trickery. Because of the visual trickery, where the actual physical activity is going on and where the feeling of the actual physical activity is, is six feet apart. Isn't that odd? That goes to show you that your sensations are projected in the same place where your body is projected and normally they sync up, they match. You get touched on your arm, you look down. And where you're feeling that you're being touched is the same place where your arm is. But can you imagine being touched on your arm, but you're feeling it somewhere else? 
Here, they're feeling in a different location, but this is the thing. Where the location is, there's not even a body there. There's no body there. Okay. We have already seen that our sensation of touch can be felt in a place where we don't even have a body. We can have a feeling of touch where there is no flesh to be felt. What about our other senses? Could they be misplaced also? Our most important sense by far is our eyesight. We even used our eyesight in the last video example to figure out where our body was. After all, we obviously couldn't rely on our sense of touch to figure out where our body was. How weird would it be if the physical body and the sensations system somehow got out of sync? What if our sense of sight got mixed up and was experienced in the wrong place? What if someone had their vision moved to their fingertips? That would be very weird. Could that really happen? If we were truly physical bodies and with real systems that functioned like we think they do, this could never happen. How could a fingertip see? That could never happen. Or could it? How do we really see? Before we get to this next bit of research, let's consider the reality of seeing. In order for you to see something, you must have working eyes, right? As physics and biology tell us, the light bounces off the object and enters the lens of our eyes, which then focuses the image on the retina. At this point, the rods and cones convert the light photons into nerve signals that go directly to our brains. In the visual cortex of our brain, the section at the back of our heads, we then convert those nerve signals to an image that we perceive in our mind. Does that about cover the actual physical reality of sight? If our bodies are truly physical mechanisms, then if any one of these steps in the sight process is missing or damaged, then it would be impossible for us to see. That is reality, correct? Consider this next bit of research information. In Italy, the neurologist Cesare Lombroso studied a blind girl who could see with the tip of her nose and the lobe of her left ear. Can you imagine a blind girl who can see with her nose and her ear? This sure doesn't meet with what our preconceived notion about what the reality of sight is. How do you explain the physical and biological process of seeing with your nose? However, even though it doesn't meet our own reality of what we think seeing is, does this meet our overall definition of reality? Remember that we said, let's call reality that which someone can experience. If someone can experience it, it's reality. Well, she could experience this, so it must be reality. Even though this is reality, it's not your reality, nor is it mine. However, to the blind girl, she can really see. It is in fact reality to her. It's her reality. Options. Now activating the next video, play options. One moment please. Click on the green arrow to start watching the next video. Or, click on the red arrow to start watching the prior video. Or, click on the tan arrow to go to the main course menu and guide. With links to all course chapters, excerpts, and special reports. Up next, special video options. Click on your choice of course videos, menus, and excerpts. Now switching to the special video options menu and activating the video selection buttons. Click on your selection number to start watching the video.
15 seconds till we switch to the next page with the free download information. Pause the video now if you need more time to review the available selections. This is the end of this course video. Its video number is listed above. To watch the next video, simply click on the next video in number sequence. Thank you.